You have no excuses to be unfit. Let's talk. All right, guys, so today I want to talk about video games and fitness. That's right. You know, I am not an overweight video gamer that is depressed, right? I don't uh, suffer from depression clinically, and I don't, I don't consider myself to be super overweight. Some people might, but in the end, who cares? But what I do know is that if you want to play games for a really, really long time is that being fit is better. If you really, truly enjoy this as a hobby, right? Um, you have to keep yourself in decent shape. I mean, it, it amazes, it just it blows my mind, the amount of people that are obviously in bad health, okay? And this is not about fat shaming. As a matter of fact, I used to be overweight. Let me give you a picture of what I looked like before. Yes, this is me with a total lack of self-control. I couldn't say no to food at all and beer. As you see, you can change your situation if you want to, right? That was that was me when I was a lot younger. And as you can tell, I had quite a bit more weight and I was unhealthy. And yeah, I would just sit around and play video games. And that was it, right? I didn't make time. I didn't have balance in my life between video games and fitness. Um, but one thing that you do have to know, whether you're young or getting to in your 30s or middle age, is as you get older, you will develop ailments. Your body starts breaking up, down a little bit, and the less fit you are, the more likely you are to have, um, you know, pains that will, the pains and conditions that will affect the way you play video games. Uh, as you get older, a lot, for example, a lot of people develop arthritis or have other types of ailments, you know, high blood pressure, diabetes, and all this comes from not being fit, right, from not taking care of your health. Just because you play video games doesn't mean you need to fall into the stereotype of somebody that doesn't care about their health. There's a lot of healthy video gamers out there, and, uh, you know, for whatever reason, the you know, we have to break that that mold, that stereotype that all video game, you know, fans or video game players are fat slobs that sit around in the house all day. You know, that's not the case. Some of us are busy and some of us have gains. Now, does that mean you have to be super muscular or anything like that? No, of course, you don't have to have, you know, uh, bulky muscles. I mean, I for me, one way of getting fit was lifting weights. Um, but other people might choose to walk, and that's all we really need to do is walk five days a week for half an hour, and that'll do wonders for your health, right? And you have no excuses for not doing that. There's a lot of games that will reward you. Uh, for example, for walking on, on the DS, if you walk, there's games that'll give you bonus points, coins, whatever, because you are being active, right? And even if you're not, even if you're just listening to you know, your, your iPod, your, your cell phone. It's all about six songs. You know, I timed it once. To walk for half an hour takes anywhere from six to eight songs. That's it. And you're walking. That's your workout for the day. Start off slow and keep on going. But why am I telling you this? Because I see a lot of people, and a lot of YouTubers specifically, they, uh, they all fo follow this pattern. I'm overweight, I'm depressed, um, you know, have all these issues, well, you know, there's some things that you can do something about and there's some things you can't. But, you know, if, if you're clinically depressed, you need to see a doctor. If you're just depressed because you don't like the way you look, you can change that, right? You can be the best version of yourself. You have no excuses not to do that. And the only reason you're not reaching some of those goals is because, plain and simple, you don't want it bad enough. If you want something bad enough, you will get it, no matter what it is, right? Whether it's fitness, uh, any type of goal, you do whatever it takes to get there. And the thing with weight loss is it doesn't happen overnight, okay? You're not going to lose 50, 100 pounds overnight, right? You'll lose one pound a week, right? Or maybe three pounds a week. 
it doesn't matter how much you lose, the thing is that you have to get moving. You have to move, you have to do some sort of activity. And believe it or not, you guys can look up the, the research on this, the fitter you are, the better you feel about yourself. Those endorphins start kicking in, right? And it's all about balance. I'm not here to criticize anybody or make anybody feel bad about their weight. That's not the intention of my video at all. My intention is to inspire you that, that to get yourself in a better place health-wise. And this, um, you know, these myths that you could be super fat and, and fit is, unfortunately, they're not true, okay? Um, you can look at the science, forget about the feelings part of it. If your heart has to pump extra blood because you're bigger, it makes you unhealthier. It's just that simple. If you're eating too much sugar, you're not as healthy, right? If you're eating too many processed foods, you're not healthy. Now, do you have to make a 100% change within a day? No, no. You can start off slow. Start off by walking. Start off by maybe not having, you know, cake after 10. And trust me, I have been there. I love to eat. You know, some people like food, not me. I love to eat, right? I, you know, I, I wake up hungry. I go to bed hungry. But the things I choose to eat uh, changed over time. They didn't change overnight. Little by little, I started developing habits that would help me, um, you know, lose some weight. Whether you're play, playing Pokemon Go, you know, you can do some of that, right? You're walking around. But the thing is that you need to start moving. Specifically, if you really care about playing video games into your older age, right? Because if you have severe, uh, severe chronic disease, it's going to be less likely that you're going to want to be playing games or are able to play games, right? You can develop conditions that can affect your eyesight, for example, diabetes, and nobody wants that. And those are total, totally preventable. Type 2 diabetes, totally preventable, right? You can do it with your diet, you can go vegetarian, you can go healthy. There's plenty of choices for you to make to make yourself just a little bit healthier and guaranteeing that you will play games for longer, right? So please don't don't fall into these stereotypes. I am not, okay? I, again, I am not criticizing anybody that has problems with weight. And, but uh, what I do want to say is that it is a problem, okay? You can't be 50, 100 pounds overweight and think that you're healthy just because it makes you feel better or somebody told you, hey, you know, being be happy with the weight you are. No, that's not true. It's like being happy with smoking. Some people are happy smoking, but it's unhealthy as hell, right? Being 200 pounds overweight might make you happy, but that doesn't mean it's healthy, right? And if you care about longevity, longevity or if you care about playing games long term, I exert you to look for a better way, to look for healthy alternatives, and just make one change a week. You know, it doesn't have to be, you know, going balls out, going to CrossFit or something like that. That never works. You know, if you, if you go from zero to 100, it just guarantees you that you're going to come back down really hard. And you see that all the time with people that start a program. They get super jazzed, and then you see them three months later, and they're like, eh, you know. You have to change the lifestyle. In order to do that, you have to develop good habits, and that's just slowly over time. But the one thing is that you have to motivate yourself and you have to want it, okay? You have to want it. If it's not happening for you, if you're a person that tells, tells yourself, man, I've tried everything, but nothing works, no. You have not wanted it bad enough, okay? Trust me, if I give you an example. If you had no money, if you had no money to buy food and all you could buy was fruit and vegetables or, you know, buy a donut, you would buy the fruit and vegetables. You might buy the donut the first day, but eventually when you saw the amount of, you know, healthy food that you could buy versus the amount of processed food that you could buy, you'd go the, for the healthier over time because you'd be more satiated, right? It's when, when you take yourself to those extremes that sometimes is when you see people make those choices, but, you know, it's, you just, just make a small change, man. Give up soda. 
hey, stop drinking soda. It's, it's uh, you know, if you have to once in a while drink a Coke Zero or something, a diet beverage, start drinking water. It's most of the time it's free, right? You know, start choosing salads, right? Everybody says they're addicted to food. Nobody's addicted to eating fruit or salads, right? You never hear that, right? Everybody's addicted to pizza, to bacon, stuff like that. Now, does that mean that you don't get to eat any of those things? Not at all. I'll give you my example, right? My example, six days a week, I pretty much eat clean and, and restrict my calories. And then one day a week, oh, one day a week it's on. I eat whatever I want, right? And I try to keep with that to keep a balance because I know if I just go a horrible diet, you know, a whole month or six months, it's it, it's going to be unpleasant. I'm not going to be enjoying life. I need to have, you know, a, a cookie or, or whatever once in a while, right, for some enjoyment. But that doesn't mean I need to have a hundred cookies, right? It's no difference, right? I mean, it doesn't mean I have to have ten pieces of cake. I can have one piece of cake. I have you know, a couple of slices of pizza, but usually for myself, and, and I, I can tell you how you can be, give you an example how you can be in shape and still eat a lot of food, like I'll eat sometimes a pizza by myself, right? I'm a pizza freak, but the rest of the week I've been, I've been good, you know, because I've been carb cycling and, and doing different things. Now, however you choose to get fit, that's up to you. There's so many ways, guys, so many ways, so many programs you can start. Running, jumping jacks, dancing, but as long as you make the time to do it, you will come up ahead and you will be playing video games for a really long time. So once again, guys, you have your future in your hands. You can make a change if you want to. You just have to want it bad enough. You know, sometimes it takes a broken heart, right? Like, uh, you know, you see people all the time, somebody left them for somebody more attractive and maybe they weren't the best weight at the time and then they changed. It took that, took that heartbreak, that extreme. It doesn't have to get to that. You know, there's no better motivator than yourself, than you making the right choices for your life so you can be the best version of yourself. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. I'm just sharing my experience and I wish all of you out there to make a healthier choice and not to choose um, you know, an unhealthy lifestyle that's going to stop you from playing video games in the future. That's the video.